Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with On The Black. So uh, for those of you who watch my videos regularly, you know that I am not the biggest Daniel Murphy fan. Uh, and it really has nothing to do with his offensive game. It more so has to do with his defensive game. Uh, you know, I, he wasn't a good left fielder. Um, I think he was okay at first base. I think the jury is still out on him at second base. But, you know, at this point in time, I think that uh, his defense at second base is uh, limited. And eventually, I hope I'm wrong, but eventually he might cost the Mets defensively at second base. But uh, last night's win, uh, in my opinion, was uh, sort of the perfect example of sort of my love-hate uh, relationship with Daniel Murphy's game, if you will. You know, in the top of the eighth inning, right after Jose Reyes was called out at third base on a terrible call, uh, Daniel Murphy came through at the plate with a clutch uh, solo home run, tying the game, really helping energize the Mets uh, again. And, and that was uh, an outstanding at-bat by Daniel Murphy. Uh, and then in the bottom of the eighth inning, on a ball that Jason Bay should have caught in left field, uh, Murphy doesn't cover second base. He gets to the bag late. And if he was there on time, um, like he was supposed to be, they could have really had a play on the runner going to second base. But he wasn't there. And, and that just, you know, defensively, uh, not sure what happened there, where he was. But, you know, eventually that runner did end up scoring. You know, there was also a wild pitch in that inning. So, you know, not everything falls on Murphy. And again, Jason Bay should have caught that ball. But, you know, defensively, Murphy was out of position. Then in the top of the ninth inning, you know, when the Mets are rallying, coming back, Murphy again with a good at bat, a clutch double, scoring two runs and really putting the nail in the Nationals' coffin last night uh, and as the Mets went on to win that game. So, you know, uh, in two innings, uh, Murphy had two outstanding at bats and then made... Uh, I guess a mental mistake in the field defensively. So that's just kind of the, the roller coaster, if you will, of emotions that I have with Daniel Murphy. You know, when he's at bat, uh, again, I think he's a good hitter. I've never kind of questioned his ability to hit. I've only questioned his ability to play second base or any position defensively for that matter. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens here. I personally think at this point in time, Murphy should probably be the everyday second baseman, mostly because of his, his bat. Um, you know, and then maybe kind of substitute for him late in the games defensively. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I uh, just wanted to come to you guys with a quick post on Daniel Murphy. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.